My name is Marcus Lehmann, co-founder and CEO of CalWave Power Technology. And CalWave unlocks the power of the ocean to secure a clean energy future. So the majority of our primary energy um, today is still coming from fossil fuels, as we can see from this chart. And yeah, all the software in the world will not be able to change that fact. But here, wave power is the largest unused renewable resource that has really great benefits. It's very stable. We can produce at night as well as at winter times. And it's also counter cyclical to wind and solar. So our peak production occurs in the winter. And so here's an enormous opportunity to combine wind and wave production in the long run and have a yeah, really close to base load renewable power source. The resource is greatly available exactly where the majority of our population lives. Um, about yeah, half of the US population lives within 50 miles of the coastlines. And this is the resource chart by the Department of Energy showing that yeah, the technical feasible resource potential, so already reduced twice towards what can be um, captured, is in the order of 30% of US electricity demand. And so far, we're really lacking a scalable solution comparable to our modern wind turbine. And so CalWave, after years of iterations and engineering, has found a solution that really meets the same criteria as our modern wind turbine. Our technology operates fully submerged, and with that, we get really high efficiency. At the same time, we can shut it down in storms, so we can become yeah, invisible to um, big storm events. The combination of these two features, no one has been able to really accomplish. And yeah, with that great um, architecture, our team was awarded by the US Wave Energy Prize, where they looked into 92 different teams and um, did a yeah, never done before um, apples to apples comparison of all different technologies. And then the Navy did a third party performance assessment and our team achieved the highest performance with our technology. And with these great results, we won a follow on award from the Department of Energy in 2017, and that allowed us to conduct an, a field trial. And so here we see a video from our pilot in San Diego, where um, we have deployed the system in um, last September and are now operating for over nine months continuous, which makes it um, yeah, the longest operating continuous wave um, demonstration connected to the UC San Diego microgrid. And we can see here, yeah, the technology operates fully submerged. We extract energy from all degrees of freedom. And then set in storms, we can lower it to shut it down and um, become invisible to storms, hurricanes, and other events. And yet it's been really exciting um, that the technology works so reliable. We are um, operating autonomous since last November. Um, so completely hands off, our technology has a digital twin on board that monitors the health and makes its own decisions, goes from um, your operating state into shutdown and back to operating fully autonomous. And um, yeah, I said the initial target was six months by the Department of Energy, but due to the very high reliability, um, we, we just let it run and we're now already at nine months of operations. And next to this initial demonstration, we just received a large award from DOE to upscale the system to a next larger class. And this is intended to be then deployed at Puckwave. This is a new 20 megawatt farm um, under construction in Oregon, specifically to bring um, the wave technologies to a bankable state. So this is fully grid connected. We can operate the system there for two years and um, sell power to the grid and collect all the information to then become project financeable and bankable, which unlocks then the enormous scale up. Yeah, said initially we're coming out of the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab and Cycloton Road. We've um, received support from um, a range of investors, Breakout Labs, um, 1517, the High Tide Foundation, and then, yeah, as of recent, um, support from the Google for Startup program. We're currently um, raising a Series A to complement our DOE awards um, as one of the proceeds. Um, as of now, we've secured 19 million from the Department of Energy. And then with that secured, we're really able then to execute the pilot in Oregon, as well as roll out that unit for um, remote communities, as well as then advance towards the megawatt class system. And from a short term and long term impact perspective, our first focus will be on small island development states. They represent about 11% of global population. 
um, that rely to 90% on imported bunker fuel. So emissions as bad as coal, if not worse. And so, um, yeah, they have no means to transition um, from imported fuel, which also causes a trade deficit for them. And here, ocean energy is really a great opportunity because um, land is scarce with our system. We're not causing any visual impact because we're um, operating submerged and often tourism is one of the main um, industries there. So it's the ideal solution for these communities. And then next to that, in the long run, um, as mentioned, there is an enormous opportunity to upgrade offshore wind. Um, offshore wind globally has about 120 gigawatts of um, uh, yeah, technology in construction and cable. And so with wind alone having 40 to 50 percent capacity factor, there's an enormous opportunity to upgrade existing offshore wind infrastructure essentially at no cost for uh, electrical. And then will also help to pay off all the electrical um, yeah, connection, grid connection in half the time and then bring enormous value to the grid by yeah, providing that close to base load power. And in general, the IPCC has found due to the energy density, ocean energy is really the lowest form of electricity in the long run. With that, thanks so much for your um, interest. And yeah, here are the SDGs we're addressing, starting with um, affordable and clean energy. And yeah, please visit us at calwave.energy or shoot me a mail at marcus at calwave.energy. Thanks so much. What are the unit economics? Like how is it compared to other ways of generating green energy um, at the current stage? That's one of the drivers also to support and address um, island communities. They have really high electricity prices. Now with Ukraine, even more so, um, yeah, we've heard horror stories from the Caribbean and elsewhere uh, that now the, they, they were already extremely high and, and now they're even skyrocketing. So they're seeing that yeah, being reliant on imported fossil fuel is, is very dangerous going forward. And then what our economics show is that once we can co-locate with offshore wind and we have about 500 units um, produced, then we're at par with offshore wind, so at the same cost. And that's then when we really can scale rapidly. So kind of that's the current strategy and um, produce about 500 units for um, these higher markets, um, more expensive electricity markets. And then we can go mainstream US, European uh, main grid.